Hey guys, Tom at Snake River Bass. Uh, get a lot of questions here at the school from people who want to start into bass jumping. Uh, a lot of people are under the misconception that they can just come to the school and start bass jumping. Uh, if you click down our YouTube channel, you can find a nice video from Eric, who's one of our instructors, about the idea of bass jumping without ever skydiving uh, and how dangerous and foolish it is, but, but also how you won't get as much out of bass if you don't skydive first. I want to talk about specifically what kind of things you're going to need to do to prepare for bass jumping, both in skydiving and in other ways. Uh, and what kind of steps you can take. And there's probably going to be several parts to this video, because first I want to lay out an overview, and then I want to talk about each part in depth. Basically, before you think about moving into bass, you need to prepare yourself, both skills and knowledge-wise, to start into bass jumping. In terms of the skills you need, the best way to practice is always going to be skydiving. There are other ways to practice, and there are other things that can help you build skills, but a certain minimum amount of skydiving is going to be necessary for anyone. The first kind of skill we need to develop is free fall skills. And free fall skills are basically only available in a skydiving environment. These are skills related to stability in free fall, related to your ability to not slide towards the object, also related to your ability to track away. Free fall skills, best learned from skydiving. Second set of skills that we have to learn are opening reactions. You need to learn to take control of the canopy immediately after opening. Again, the very best place to learn these is skydiving. In fact, it's almost the only place. Think of skydiving as a simulator for base jumping that gives you a ultra slow motion opening that you can practice taking control of. Next set of skills you want to develop are canopy skills. Canopy skills can be developed in a lot of different environments. You can paraglide, speed fly, skydive, a whole bunch of other things. The basic bottom line here is you need to be sufficiently in control of the parachute to deal with the base environment, which can be very small, very tight, very unforgiving. However you develop these canopy skills, they're mandatory before you start into base. Next set of skills you're going to have to develop are rigging skills. That means you need to have familiarity with the parachute, how it goes together, what the pieces are, where the pieces are on the parachute. Those rigging skills are usually best developed in a skydiving environment because they involve packing, but you can also develop some in other environments like paragliding, speed flying, and other canopy sports. The last set of things you need to develop are knowledge. Knowledge is really nebulous and really big, uh, and hopefully watching these videos is getting you started there. But there are a lot of other resources that you can look into, and I recommend reading absolutely everything you can. I'm not saying that anyone is the god of base jumping and knows all the answers. I would recommend watching all these videos, reading through everything on our website. I would recommend buying yourself a copy of The Great Book of Base by Matt Gertis and reading that cover to cover multiple times. I would recommend going to a website called watchthybridal.com, maintained by Thomas Hirsch in Austria, and reading everything posted there. I'm sure other things will occur to me, and as they occur to me, I'll add them into the notes of this YouTube video. But this is a good start. Before you start base jumping, you should develop free fall skills, opening awareness, canopy skills, rigging skills, and a solid knowledge base related to parachutes and base jumping.